Hello and welcome to this Let's Boot training video. Today we're going to create QR codes with NJX QR Code 2. Everything that you see in this video is also linked in this Medium article, which you can find linked inside this YouTube video. So let's get going. We're going to follow these steps here, generating a symbol app and then installing everything we need before turning some URLs into QR codes. So let's get started with Angular CLI in the command line. Once all the packages have been installed, we're going to open this code in our favorite code editor, which in our case is Visual Studio Code, but of course you can use whichever one you want. And then inside the terminal inside of our code here, we will install the ngx QR code to library directly in our project. And once that is done, we'll just check that the application is running. And here we are, we have our first simple application here. So the next step is going to be to import the ngx QR code module to our app. And for that, we only need to add two lines to appmodule.ts. So let's go in here. And we import the ngx QR code module from ngx QR code 2. And then we import it in ng module as well. We will then add our target URLs to the app component.ts. So here, in this case, we're just adding three of them. So we come to the app component HTML, remove the default HTML, and add our own. At this stage, we can go back and check our app. And here we go. We have our three QR codes which if you use your scan your scanner on your phone you will see where they take you if you don't yet have a scanner you can use uh, for example one of these two one for android one for iphone which uh, i haven't tested and there are plenty of others out there a last point about the qr code size you'll find that the longer the link you use the more modules will comprise the qr code the modules are what are making up this qr code and you'll find that as the amount of data increases, more modules are required and hence your QR code will become larger. Now, if you want to have a uniform size for your QR codes, a simple way around that is to use a URL shortener, um, Google, Bitly, or whichever other one you, you prefer to. And we can illustrate this, of course, if we add a longer link in our app component.ts and show it in our template. So if we add these two links, one long and one short and add them in our template you'll find that the QR codes that result are noticeably of different sizes and hence if you use only the Google shortener you'll get only one size of QR code. Et voilà! So as last time happy coding and follow me on Twitter, Medium, LinkedIn or wherever and check out letsboot.com for some great content. I particularly want to thank uh, Techie Diaries uh, for this awesome library and he's actually written a tutorial which is linked uh, in the Medium account so please check him out as well and kudos to him for his awesome work. Thank you very much.